Hey, hi all. I am Abhishek and today I will walk you through a very simple topic on how to build Azure functions using Visual Studio IDE. So let's get started. Here I am using Visual Studio 2019 and I have already installed Azure SDK while installing my Visual Studio. Alternatively, if you do not have that installed, then you need to install the appropriate Azure SDK matching the Visual Studio version you have so that you get the Azure function template. One thing I would like to stress here for this video, I will not get into details of what Azure function is and how it works, but uh, as a prerequisite to this video, I expect that you know what Azure function is and here we will concentrate on just to create an Azure function using Visual Studio and not get into the details of it. I would suggest if you don't know what Azure function is, go back, check out what Azure function is and then come down here. That would make more sense to this video. Okay, so let's get started. So as a project type, let me filter it as cloud. So I get the Azure function template out here. Let me do a next and uh, let me call it as my, my first function app. Then let me hit on create. We need to give some more inputs to this uh, template. We all know the Azure function gets invoked using a trigger. So we can select any of these triggers. It can be a block trigger or a IoT Hub trigger or a Cosmos DB trigger or a service box topic trigger. Let me choose the simplest of all, the HTTP trigger. Okay. And the authorization level I can select as anonymous so that I can access it and demo it to you without having to worry about the authentication and the authorization details. Okay. So let me hit on OK. So this will create my function app. Here I am. The Visual Studio has generated a default function code for me. I can modify this function and add my own functionality out here. Okay. So what about the dependencies? I can easily add any dependency or the NuGet package that I need for my code here and I can get going. So isn't this cool? Instead of getting into the editor in the Azure uh, portal, I can easily write my code out here, build my own files, my classes and all uh, dependence, depending classes and uh, NuGet packages, SDKs, whatever I need. I can have all the dependencies bundled here and then I can promote it to Azure environment. Now let me run the function and debug it. So what it will do is, it will open up a nice emulator where I can see all the function start information. You can see in the screen out here, it's printing pretty well. Okay, so this is a link to my function. Let me browse this. Cool. Uh, let me open my browser. Let me browse this. So you can see we got some output here. So let me pass my name. See, it does what the code is, the default code is there in the Azure function. Okay. So suppose I want to debug it. So what I need to do? So let me put a breakpoint out here. And here I am with the breakpoint. And now let me just try to refresh it. You can see the breakpoint has hit here. And I can easily debug the function and check for myself what is happening. Now that I have debugged the code and I have my function ready. So what next? I need to publish it. So let's see how I can publish it from here in the Visual Studio. It's very easy. Right click, then uh, hit on publish. Then uh, you just need to 
like uh, if you want to create a new app service you can give uh, select this option or if you want to publish it on an existing app service then you can select this so let me do it in a new app service so i need to sign into my azure account so let me do that please hang on it's taking some time okay let me key in my credentials then do a next here i go and i am signed in i need to give my subscription resource group hosting plan details all these necessary informations i need to fill in here so let us use the default name that whatever it has populated you can give a very nice name out here i'm not worried about the name here so let me do a create so what this will do is it will do all the checks and it will start deploying the azure function now you can see the azure function is published to azure portal and this is the site url this is what i had planned for today i am done with the demonstration i hope you like this video thank you